Hey all, I just want to do an update on the CCM GP450, um, which I've had for a year now, but it's barely been ridden. I didn't have it long, uh, and it was on the A2 fleet for people to ride back to back with the CRF300 and the KTM 390, the Himalayan, the GS310. Something uh, it, I saw, I saw it as something a bit different, you know, something a bike that most people would never get to ride. So quite a good um, opportunity for them to come down to my place and ride it back to back with so, some more modern stuff. For me, I always loved the CCM when it first came out. I rode the prototype uh, when I was working on Adventure Bike Rider magazine and then I did some reviews for Ride magazine and a few others. I really got, as a journalist at the time, I really got behind it as a bike because I just loved what they were trying to do. I read a quote the other day by, well, it was reportedly by Fred Dibner, the famous uh, British steeplejack, who said, Britain was built by men in overalls and ruined by men in suits. And the CCM was very much a bike built by men in overalls in a shed in Bolton. It's not perfect. It's, you know, there's, there's faults and there's niggles and there's things that aren't ideal about it. Uh, and as a bike to take around the world or on a long remote trip, I probably wouldn't trust it myself. Um, but it was bu built with a love and uh, passion to try and make something different and unique in the adventure bike market which at the time back in 2015 when it came out was was all about the stodgy big 1200 cc adventure bikes so what ccm's aim was to do to make a long range bike that was light and off-road capable uh, so they used a g450x bmw that they obviously, obviously bought off the shelf um i think, I think it's from kimco so it's actually a chinese engine uh but then they they mated it with a, a bonded aluminium uh, chassis uh, so make it very light aluminium swing arm XL rims uh, talon hubs we've got uh, tractive rear shock fully adjustable Marzocchi front shocks so it's really high spec bike with a 20 litre tank and uh, I think 40 brake horsepower as standard and then uh, 4, 48, 49 brake horsepower with the, with the quill exhaust and the, and the remap some people didn't like it they, they thought the engine was too rough uh, being a single cylinder in, and it was a sort of a race inspired engine or race derived engine which is probably not the best type of engine for going around the world or long distance travelling but uh, for me it was always it was to use it it was more a long distance trail bike than it was a long distance road bike if that makes sense and the engine in that in that um, using it off-road works perfectly it's a lovely engine likes to be on power uh, it's just probably a bit rough and ready for what people expected um so yeah it, you know it's it was a valiant effort i think from ccm to make something uh, a little bit different for me for this one it just improved reliable enough uh it just kept uh, there was charging issues so i'd be out with the group and it's a it's a pack up stop starting it wouldn't start so i had to come back with it for, for, for it in a van uh, and once it's done that a few times you know you lose confidence in it and then when i did get it get it running at the beginning of this year uh, it had a sort of kind of a catastrophic fuel leak from down here uh, so it leaked a lot of fuel so i just parked it up and sort of abandoned it for the last 10 months now i'm out of the unit it's just to give me time to, to to address some of the the, the jobs i had to do ccm being one of them uh, so I've just brought it down to Highlands, which is our local motorcycle place. Uh, Phil and Tom who run it, just really good guys who um, know their bikes. And I knew that they diagnose a fuel leak far faster than I would, and it turned out to be the connectors just inside of these uh, side uh, tanks. So just replace them, 20 quid each from CCM, and uh, that's it. Sh should be running. Get it out. Maybe take it for a spin. Probably will sell it though because it's it's just uh, as I say, I need a bike that I'm is 100% or as, as close to 100% reliable as I can and this bike as much as I love to ride it it's, it's not that bike so uh, I don't want it gathering dust any longer but I am going to have a good spin on it just because I loved it as a bike like a light bike 128 kilos claimed wet weight but it was more like 138 when I had it on my scales um, interestingly so the the rear swing arm um, axle goes through the, the it also goes through the front sprocket spindle and that's the idea of that is to keep the chain under more continuous um, tension when you're going over bumps and when the suspension is compressing, etc. So quite a few interesting little design features to it. And that's it. So CCM GP450. If you wonder where it had gone to and why I've not talked about it uh, at all, it's because it, it was uh, laying dormant at the back of the unit, not getting used. So we'll give it a go. See if, see if she'll start. See what happens. Let's have a go. There she goes.
that's it. Get it loaded in the van and get it out for a ride tomorrow. Cheers.